All right, for each of the following games, please indicate if you've heard of it or if you've played it. Uh, okay. Soul Hope. Played. Oh that. no, fire swords. Until dawn. Played. played. Impatient Man played. Man of Medan played. played. They did not ask about Impatient. Oh, that's weird. Did you play the trial version of Little Hope? Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, I didn't want it spoiled. Okay, which answer is nice, Marissa. No, but I was aware of it, or no? I no, but I was aware of it. Bought the full game. Okay, no, I was. Oh, no, I directly bought the full game? Yeah. Those are weird that that's the two options. Well, that's what you mean. Yeah. Uh, these are the games you have played for each indicate if you own a copy. I own all of them. Yes, I, I'm not sure. I own every one. Every, I own every supermassive game. That's not an exaggeration. The only one I don't own is that weird one On that's like one just for a strange service. How would you rate your overall experience with the following games? Little Hope. Uh, so 10 is, a, is the best score. And one is the most. Uh, Little Hope? Yeah. What do you think, guys? It was going to be an 8, but it's a 6 because of that ending? I, I wrote down 6. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Until Dawn. Uh, 7. No, 8. 8, eight on Until Dawn. Man of Medan. Uh, 7. We did it! Based on your experience, how likely is it that you would recommend these games to a friend or colleague? Ten. Little hope? All of them. No, I would still tell them to buy. I encourage people to play... Uh, I mean, for the love of God, I gave Unabridged Gamer a copy. And I did it just... But I told him... Well, I didn't tell him he was going to be pissed off. But I did it knowing he was going to get pissed off at the ending. But I still wanted people to play the game. So, let's say, let's say, most likely? it's most likely. I would tell. I'm supporting their franchise even when they screw up, because I have right. faith that they can do better. All right. CS:GO, nice, Pedro. You mentioned you own both Man of Medan and Little Hope. In what order did you obtain the game? Man of Medan and Little Hope. There you go, Marissa. Thank you for your feedback so far. Now we'd like to ask you about your experience with Little Hope in greater detail. Your answers will help us create better games. Yes, hopefully. On what platform did you play Little Hope? Uh, say PS4, although I actually played it on both. You can actually select all Oh, okay. okay. So PS4 and PC. What features did you particularly like about Little Hope? No more than five choices. Okay. What? So there's a lot of things you can say that you All right, like. give me the list. Okay. Overall story. Okay. Pacing and length. Horror setting and atmosphere, which trial. Okay. The ending. This <laughs> is not the ending. Dialogues. <laughs> so apparently it's not grammar. They're French. Okay. You gotta remember these people are largely oh, okay. French. Oh, that actually makes sense. No, that's how they write it in French. Gruesome deaths. Jesus! User interface, traits, relationships, bearings, etc. Uh, visual quality, characters, animations, choices and consequences, uh, shared story, online multiplayer, movie night, offline multiplayer. All right, so let's do, uh, let me just, yeah, I'll just quickly hit these. Uh, so we're going to go, so five. Uh, so obviously shared story. Really? Oh, yeah. Playing with two uh, people at once is the best part of these games. Uh, okay, so shared story. Uh can I say overall story except for the ending? Because it's a great story well, until it all didn't next happen. Screen is going to be like, what don't you like? Yeah, that's and true. Uh, pacing and length is, is good. Visual quality is shockingly good. Horror and atmosphere. All right. Next. <laughs> of course you picked gruesome deaths. Oh, wait. one of your favorite parts more. of Little Hope. Jesus Christ, there was more. Oh, well, too late now. Okay. Well, no, I haven't done it. Oh, okay. Yet. So, creepy what? demons, camera work, jump scares, secrets and premonitions, QTEs, and keep calm. I'm honestly fine with what we've already selected. Unlockable bonus content, item interactions. Item interactions? The hell is an item says, interaction? Pick up and manipulation. I mean, they all look good, but that's not my favorite thing about Localized the game. Localized voiceover, character control, music and sound, character likability, other please specify. Uh, actually, take out one. Take out one. Um, take out. 
uh, take out shared story, and then put other, and then when it says please specify, uh, put in, I liked everything but the god-awful ending. Oh, sorry. I got confused as to who was who. That was my bad, everyone. Awful ending. Oh, the curator's an option? Oh yeah, the curator. Okay, so take off visual quality and say the curator. We love the curator. Damn right we will, Lord Shimura. No more than five courses. Of there you go, Marissa. Oh, because I had... I thought I took You forgot off. to take a visual quality? Yeah, I thought I did. I'd, I'm sure you just accidentally hit it twice. We did it! We saved the... What uh, features did die. you particularly dislike the about... Well, yeah, that's the first choice. Uh, about Little No, uh, no, no I didn't little... dislike anything else. That's it. Okay. Literally, anyone who saw me play this game can see how much I adored this game so until the last five minutes. Everything else you like is just the yeah, ending. Yeah, just did. the ending. Okay. It's the only problem with that game. It's an 8 out of 10 how game. How many hours in total have you played Little Hope? Take into account all of the time you've spent playing the game. 35, 40. Actually, you know what? Why am I... Let's just check. And then they pause the stream to create, complete an online survey. Yeah, but it's the thing that the stream, that the channel is about, so... Well. Uh, I think it's fair to do. All right, so we're looking for yeah, little hope. There we go. So that is uh, 14 hours on this, plus 35 hours on the PlayStation, 50 hours. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the curator's great. I'm a big fan. Cool, Pedro. Whoops. Did you finish uh, Little Hope? Yes, and I have finished it several times. Yes. Yes, and I plan on playing You just started it. It's already. Yes, and I will you not don't have to tell me all the options. play the game anymore. No, but I'm still... Okay, so yes, you and finished I finished... You finished several it. times, obviously. Oh. Really? You didn't know I had finished it several times? There were, like, three answers that said yes. I'm reading them all to you. Regarding the playtime of one playthrough of Little Hope, did you find it too short, a bit short, right, right amount of just time? Just right. Yeah, I think early. it was just right. I really did think it was just right. It Compared takes about three hours and a half to play time, how would you rate Little Hope? It was shorter and I enjoyed it. It was shorter and it was too short. It was satisfying. It was longer and it was too long. It was longer and I enjoyed it. Uh, longer and I enjoyed it. You said you played Little Hope several times. Can you tell us how many times you've completed the game? Six. Can you select the reasons why you played several times? I wanted to play with different friends. I wanted a different ending. I wanted to collect all the trophies <laughs> and secrets. I wanted to see the different consequences of my choices. I wanted to try other game modes, solo slash movie night slash shared story. I wanted to try the... Al alternative path curator's cut uh so let's do and we can say multiple things it doesn't say that well see if you can yeah test if you can so which ones do you want me to say? uh curator's cut uh different choices play with other people you, dude don't set people on fire what is wrong with you yes you could correct. okay good. which game modes of little hope did you play shared story two-player online Solo mode, curator's cut, alternate path. Everything but shared uh, movie night. Damn. Which ones did you like best? Share story, solo mode, or uh, curator's cut? Shared story, solo obviously. Mode? Oh, okay. Yeah, shared story is the best way to play these games. Oh, it wants you to rate them. Oh, uh, shared story, regular cut, curator's cut. Curator's cut last. Well, yeah, there's no way to... No. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm not saying one is worse than the other. The solos are equally good, and Shared Story is the best. What version of Little Hope do you own? Um, Retail Standard Edition for PS4? See if I... Uh, no, the Pre-Order Edition. That's the an option. Digital version purchased on a digital store? Yeah, digital version, digital store. 
Is that it? That is it, I think. Unless oh, there's a pre-order version. You said you played two versions. <clears throat> yeah, PC and Vega. You keep looking. Well, no, it's... Okay, what version of Little Hope did you buy? Did you buy? Yeah. So it's got PS4 Little Hope, yeah. Xbox, yep. the digital version purchased on a digital store, the collector special edition retail version. Did not get that. The Didn't know that existed. Volume one bundle of ah, damn thing, we though. did not. The volume one bundle. Okay, yeah. So I guess that's yeah, the right answer. That's the right answer. I just I saw Man of Medan and I got confused. It is confusing. How did you obtain Little Hope? You I bought it at full price. I borrowed from friends. I downloaded it in a regular way. I bought it at a discounted sale price. I was offered it. I downloaded it illegally. <laughs> I bought it as a used game. I pre-ordered it. I don't know. Uh, bought it at full price. Well, of course you are, Delbert. We're trying to help the people, the good people at uh, Supermassive make better games in you know the future. You're playing this you should all do the survey. Just... It is on screen. That's it right there. Oh, okay. uh, sorry, I looked over. I know what screen. happened. Okay. Uh, how would you rate the quality slash price ratio of Little Hope on a scale to of one up to ten? Oh, nine, no problem. Like, they're great games at forty dollars, thirty in America. Great deal. They're not worth full price, but they're a great deal. Now let's talk about the Little Hope features. There you go, Mark. Jesus Christ, this is long. I told you. They how told would us. You rate the following features of Oof. Little Hope: the story, theme, storyline. I dislike it very much. I dislike it somewhat. I like it somewhat. I like it very much. I don't know, cannot remember. Like it somewhat. Because, you know, the ending. Uh, gameplay mechanics, same. Uh, thumbs up to the highest extent. I like it very much. Love the gameplay. Horror slash the scares. Same. Oh, um, yeah, no, that's, that's like it very much. The choices and consequences. Uh, one less than full. So somewhat? Yeah, somewhat. Graphic and M and Oh, highest possible. Those are gorgeous games. The characters? Uh, yeah, highest possible. Apparently we're not even halfway done with the survey. Seriously? I know. How would you compare the features in Little Hope to those in A Man and the Dam? The story... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> The story theme storyline, uh, way less compelling than Man of Medan, not as compelling as Man of Medan, equal to Man equal of Medan. Equal to Man of Medan. Vast okay, equal. The gameplay mechanics, same. Same. Uh, yeah, uh, equally good. Actually, no, better. Say better. Somewhat improved. Oh, no, majorly improved. Ah, Sorry. Vastly improved. Ah. Okay, the horror, same questions. Uh, equally good. So equal. Are you sure about that? Do you want to go back and change? You that don't have to be back? a jerk about this. I said the word Graphic equal. Graphic and anima an animation. I don't know why I can't say this word. Tonight. Equally good. Equal. Yeah. Choices. Consequences. Um, a little worse. So not as compelling as Man of Medan. Yeah, but that's because of the ending. Characters. Uh, I would say equally good. Ooh. How would you rate the following features in Little Hope regarding the storyline and storytelling? The setting and real-life historical elements, Salem Witch Trials. I dislike it very much. I dislike it somewhat. I like, like it, it somewhat. somewhat. Like it very much. Don't know. Like it somewhat. The ending. I dislike it very much. Dislike it as much as it is possible to dislike something. Dialogue between characters. Uh, yeah, that's some like it somewhat. That's fine. They did a good job. I don't remember hearing you offer to rewrite their dialogue for them. No, I mean, I could have, and it would have improved it, but we're not going to, like, I'm not going to put that in the Well, scenario. I'm not saying it's atrocious. No, it's not atrocious. Because I don't recall you saying that. No, no, I didn't make a big fuss. The dialogue's fine. Storyline overall. Hey, Horror King. Uh, Storyline overall, I liked it somewhat. Again, the ending really ruins it. We're doing a really long online survey, Horror King, since you just got here, about uh, Little Hope, which is... Way too long. The pacing of the story. Um, yeah, I'd say somewhat. No, actually, you know what? I liked it very much. Okay. It's it's good. It's very good. Yeah. The underlying themes to discover. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say that somewhat. 
I like it somewhat. Yeah. yeah. Again, the themes are better the without choices the choices regarding gameplay. All right. Dialogue options. I dislike it very much. I liked it somewhat. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Quick time events. Uh, liked it a lot. Thought they were well done this time. I like it very much. Yes. Uh, item interaction. Uh, sure, I like it. I like very much that you can pick up and turn over items in your hand. Why not? Dark pictures. Oh yeah, I uh, like those. I always like those very much. Although one of them is lying. Oh, yeah, it's so much better than last time. Huge improvement over Medan, so very much. Exploration, character movement, and locomotion. <laughs> what? And locomotion. Uh, somewhat. Say somewhat, because there's some problems. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat? I got that would be fun. By singing and dancing the moves yeah. to the locomotion. The main character is a guy who's off his meds for his schizophrenia, and he thinks that there's monsters everywhere. But then it turns out there really are monsters. Unabridged. That would be a big twist for the supermassive games. It'd be funny too. All right, next. The option to say nothing slash do nothing. What's up? The option to say. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. That's my favorite. Like it very much. I love that you can say and do nothing. Moral compass traits slash major choices. Oh, somewhat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhat? Yeah, because again, nothing means anything because they screwed it up at the end. Secrets? Oh, very much. I always love finding secrets in the game. How would you compare the following changes in gameplay features in Little Hope to those of Man and Dan? A QTE warnings. Way less compelling. Not as compelling as Man of Medan. More compelling. To somewhat improved compared to Man of Medan. Huge Vast improvement. improvement. Vast improvement. They tell you when a QTE is coming so you don't get ambushed by it and screw up. There you go. Impact of moral compass traits. Same question. Um, a little less compelling than uh, the thing. Because again, as not as compelling. Because again, nothing actually happened. Relevance of secrets. Oh, no, more compelling. Yeah. Vastly or somewhat? Slightly. Sorry, somewhat. somewhat. Advanced keep calm mechanic. Dual button option. I have no idea what they're talking about, but say say it's a slight improvement. Sure. Item interaction. Um, exactly the same. Relevance of the dark pictures premonition. Oh, um, exactly the same. They're good in both. Uh, new characters, locomotion, and free camera system. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, exact. Oh no, actually, wait. It's got the uh, free camera is an improvement, so marginal improvement. Uh, major choices, choices slash bearings. I agree with you, Marissa. Um, slight improvement. I agree with you, Marissa, that you should be able to turn off the QT warnings. But I don't think they're bad. I just think they should be an option you can turn off. All right. For people who How want it to be harder. How you your final impressions of the following characters oh, in Little Hope? Uh, okay, that's a really weird question. Andrew slash Abraham slash Anthony. I dislike this character very much. I dislike this character somewhat. I like this character somewhat. I like, I like this character very much. Let's go ahead and just say I liked all of the characters somewhat. It's not like any of them are my favorite characters ever. John, Joseph, no, James. I don't hate anybody. Somewhat? Yeah, just, just all of them somewhat. Mary, I'm not... Megan? Again, say yes somewhat Daniel, to all Dennis, of them. David. You don't have to keep asking. Taylor, Tanya, Tabitha? Reverend Carter? Carver. Carver. I like Vincent? Yes. Yeah. Everybody somewhat. Judge Whit Wyman? Wyman, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was just fine with the characters. No complaints there. Uh, Angela's not on the survey. That's weird. How would you rate the following choices regarding the choices and consequences? Okay. I was able to understand the reasons behind characters' deaths. Strongly disagree, disagree. Oh, agree, completely disagree, agree. agree. Yeah, agree it's not, agree. there's no until dawn nonsense here. So strongly agree? Strongly agree. Okay. Hey, horsey. I felt like my characters evolved thanks to my choices. Oh, 100%. Strongly, strongly agree. agree. Yeah. Okay. And then it all gets undone by the ending. It was easy 
<laughs> all of my characters alive. Oh, yeah, strongly agree. I was able to keep track easily of the consequences of my choices. 100% strongly agree. I had the feeling my choices had real consequences. Uh, strongly dis- uh, slightly disagree. Disagree? Yes. Because of the end? Because of the end. How would you rate the following choices regarding the horror and scares? Okay. Okay. I enjoyed the amount of jump scares. Strongly agree, disagree, neither agree nor disagree, agree, strongly agree. Uh, uh, moderate agree. You know there's literally a cat jumps at you jump scare in the game. So, neither agree nor disagree, agree? Uh, yeah. So, wait, what is that from? Uh, the, they made a joke about it in Community is what you're thinking the, of. Yeah, thank you. That the jump scare was just a cat, but then the cat keeps jumping <laughs> at them. Back burner, no, back burner, Troy. We gotta do something about this cat, this insane cat. Oh, so good. Okay, uh, the deaths were gory graphics. So, strongly uh, disagree, disagree, uh, strongly agree. They were very gory deaths, which is what people like to see in games. The game was scary. Uh, sure, yeah, slightly, moderately agree. I don't really find anything scary, but it's a uh, for what it is, it's a good game. Oh yeah, no, uh, no, moderately. Uh, the demons were unsettling. Oh, strongly agree. Great design on that hanging demon. Uh, the jump scares were predictable. Uh, eh, slightly agree. I mean, every time things get quiet and they're looking at something, you know that a ghost is going to come up and grab them. So you know. Uh, felt a lot of tension slash threat throughout all of the game. Uh, yeah, moderately agree. Christ, this is a long survey. It is! How would you rate the following features in Little Hope regarding the aesthetic slash the look and feel of the game? Do they not know aesthetic and look are the same thing? No, they don't. Well, no, I think they think the audience doesn't know. Oh, okay. So they're defining aesthetic for us. Okay. Um, the universe and atmosphere. I dislike it very much. I dislike it somewhat. I like it somewhat. Like, like it a very lot. Much. Very much. The quality of graphics. Oh, uh, like it a, I love... I mean, nobody makes better looking games than Supermassive Games. The user interface. Yes, I know. Uh, yeah, uh, strongly like. Like, really like it. Anthology store? What? The Anthology store. I have no idea what that is. Anybody? Does anyone know what the Anthology store is? Why can't I execute this guy? Ah, oh, there we go. It seems like they didn't, but if they get the same comments twice in a row, it might they might actually start listening to them and back off this idiocy about, uh, like, every game has to be based on a real-life story and nothing supernatural can happen. Although, again, and I'll put this in a video, there are an ending in each game that shows something arguably supernatural happens. So you don't know what the store is. Uh, it's to tell Supermassive about what we thought of uh, Little Hope. What was the next question? The, the store? The anthology store. Yeah, say I don't know what they're talking about. The menus. I, I like them a little. They're menus. Who cares? The facial... I knew you were going to say that. The yeah. facial animation. Oh, no, those are great. Yeah. Very much? St very much. Totally. The sound and music. The sound and music. Uh, sure. Yeah, it had a good soundtrack. Very much. Yeah, very much. Somewhat. No, I really like the soundtrack whoops, whoops, in this whoops, whoops. one. Whoops. Press the wrong button? Yeah. Gotcha. Got it. Uh, body animations. Very much. No, again, they're they're at the top of the field for this kind of beautiful... How would you rate the following features in Little Hope regarding the level design of the game? Oh, apparently the store is the... how you can see at the top of his library that there are posters for all the games. Uh -huh. And seriously, that's just posters to advertise the games. That's not a thing. Okay. Anyway, please, sorry, I missed that question. How would you rate the following features Ooh. in Little Hope regarding the level design of the game? Okay. The overall level structure of the game. I dislike it very much, dislike it somewhat, dislike it Like it, it a lot. Like it very much. Hey, Chris, what's up? Level of interaction. Like it a lot. 
the variety of locations. I uh, like it somewhat. It is all just in the one town. The pace of the progression. <laughs> Dude, learn how to structure. Anyway, uh, like it, like it a lot. Have you watched one or more special features content unlocked in Little Hope after your first playthrough? Yes. <laughs> what was that? Me blowing. Me oh, okay. There's Lint on your phone. Gotcha. How would you rate the special feature content in Little Hope? Short videos, documentaries available in the main menu. Interview with Will. Walter? He's the star of the game. I dislike it very much. Somewhat. I liked it fine. Like it somewhat? Like it somewhat, yeah. He's, he's fine. Yeah. Right. Damn! Designing the demon. Oh, I uh, like that one a lot. Like it very much. Yep. Little Hope art book. Uh, like that somewhat. Secrets of Little Hope 2 digital comic book. Uh, did not like. Like somewhat, but yeah, somewhat. Secrets of Little Hope One digital comic book. Disliked a little, because again, it's it's a comic book of things that didn't happen. Yeah. I did not see like uh, almost done. Oh, thank Christ! Uh, oh, that's terrible, feedback. Horror King. It's time to discuss your expectations for a future Dark Pictures. Movie. Here we go. Let's do this. By the way, you said a future Dark Pictures game. Yeah, so, I know. It should have just been future Dark Pictures games. We know. We know. Uh, in Pedro's on board with the burning. Hey, Elliot, what's up? All right, hit me. In comparison with what you expect before playing Little Hope, would you say that your experience of this game... Mm -hmm. I have to reread that sentence. It Please. no sense to me. In, in comparison with what you expected before playing Little Hope, right. what would you say that your experience of this game is? Okay. Much worse than you expected, not as good as than you what you expected, Oof. in accordance with what you expected, somewhat better than what you expected, much better. I, not as good. I have to say a little less good than I expected. Not as good as, not as, good as I expected. Not much worse. Than not, yeah. Because of the ending. Because of the ending. What new feature would you hey, like nuggies. to see? What new feature would you like to see in future Dark Pictures games? By the way, I just want to say that it makes me super sad that nobody knows who our plushie is. Seriously? Like, nobody? no one, not one person what, has recognized our plushie. Horror King! Horror King has it? Maybe Horror King knows our plushie. I'm like, who's the right age? Yeah, we're very old, is the thing. Well, you know what part of the problem is? What's that? Uh... Netflix lost the streaming rights right. to both shows. So nobody's forever. watching Buffy and Angel. Yeah. Because Facebook bought them up and then no one Facebook? watched Facebook? Yeah, remember how oh, Facebook right. tried to have TV? God, and then no terrible. one watched it? Like seriously, last time I wanted to watch Angel, I was like, I have discs around here somewhere. Wow. I'll I'll dig those out rather than watch something on Facebook. Yeah, I know. Because it's uh, Muppet Angel from the Muppet episode of the TV show Angel. All right, so I Next. asked you the last question. Uh, I didn't hear it. Go. What new feature would you like to see in future Dark Pictures games? A hundred characters maximum. Uh, okay, right in. Um, uh, oh, God, this is tough. This is tough. Actual monsters. Oh, okay, you know, well. Fake out what um, Yes. No, okay, wait. Like, uh, A, actual monsters. Uh, should I say one? Yeah, I'll say yeah, one. Yeah, one. Actual monsters. And do we have a second thing we would like to request? No copy. Oh, no, wait. Actually, um... Uh... Actually, yeah, instead of uh, actual monsters, because I don't need real monsters, I need uh, it not to have, uh... Uh... Tell me what you want to say. No, no, I, I'm just trying to find the best way to phrase it, and you will help me with this, because you're better at this than yes. I am. Uh... All right. I want there to not be twists for the sake of twists. Like, uh, they set up a premise, yeah, and mean. then they like, but it has to have a twist, and it turns out the premise is completely... Oh. What's the word I'm looking for? And I'll put that into Marissa. I'm extraordinarily tired. Um, um, un unwarranted twists? Un yeah. Unwarranted twists. Superfluous twists? Superfluous? Uh, 
unearned. Um, well, no, it's not, they're unearned. They do the setup. It's yeah. just it makes it worse. Like, but they don't. They don't like. They don't actually like. Yeah. Further the story. Twists like, that um, that undercut the story. Uh, so. No more twists that undercut the story. Does that sound good? No more. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. That undercut cut. an interesting story. An interesting story. Okay. Second. All right, and second, uh, give uh, add the option to disable QTE warnings, but it has to be an option. They kind of do unabridged. Wow, this place really got trashed. I put in brackets just an option. What the hell just happened? Oh, I just ran out of characters. All right, so don't worry about the brackets, and so just make sure it says the option to. So that's all we're saying? That's it. You don't want to say something about no shitty ending? Oh, you didn't have the endings in there? Well, you didn't tell me no, to no, say that! No, no, but the that. twist is the ending, Con. Oh, okay, so then I That's won't... what the... Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. it? Okay. Yes, that's it. Good. Marissa wants more hand mutilation. Well, you're not getting that. This is my <laughs> survey. <laughs> All right. Did you know that there was another Dark Pictures game called House of Ashes in development? Yes. Yes. I have seen the trailer at the end of Little Hope. Yes. Yes. I have no, seen just the, the first one. Online. And the yes. end of Little Hope is I the correct answer. I knew it was in answer. development, but didn't know the name. Okay, so the first one? Yeah. yeah. I did see the trailer at the end of Little Hope. <laughs> oh, my God. They said the survey was done. Uh, the, Dark Pictures, uh, the Dark Pictures is an anthology. All games will be standalone with different stories and characters. Did the communication campaign make it clear enough for you? Yes, 100%. The only returning element is the curator. Yeah. Uh, now that there are two available games from the anthology, is the concept clearer? It's, it was always clear, but yes, it's clearer. Just say yes. I think we might be done. No, we're not done. God damn it! Finish? Okay. Oh, they said to, we to finish, but All they right. promised me it was the end earlier. Okay. To finish, we would like to ask you I haven't questions you. to get to know you better. Please. They want our gender. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me the, give my gender. It's yeah. fine. They take, for some reason, they take men more seriously because they buy more video yeah, games, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pretend I'm younger than I am. We're going to say that I am 25 to 35 to uh, convince so them that my they value actually is want an actual number. 27. <laughs> Approximately how many hours per week do you play video games on a PC console? <laughs> do, 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 do. So is there a safe 30, way to answer this question? 30 hours per week or more? Yes. <laughs> That is oh, the <laughs> you don't have to freak out. You shouldn't freak out, Chris. Way, but obviously, they you know. said we were done again. <laughs> Make up for it. Which of the following gaming systems do you own? All of them. Okay, desktop, computer, laptop, obviously. Uh, yeah, uh, Xbox Series X. Yep, we have all of the Xboxes and Playstations. Nintendo. And the Nintendos. Uh, PSP, PSP Vita? Yeah. I got a PSP. So that was yes to. Okay. I, oh, yeah, that's right. We have a we, Nintendo 3DS. We do not have an iPad. Nope. Well, actually, we do have an iPad. But we're, we we do not use it, but we do have one. Uh, Nintendo Wii U. All right. Switch. Uh, Android tablet? We're not using that for games. So we still play. technically have one. All right. Other tablet? Uh, yeah, we do. Kindle Fire. It's right there. I guess also that instead of Android tablet? Good question, Unabridged. We do not have an iPhone. We hope, Delbert. We do have an Android smartphone. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox 360, Xbox One was down below. Did, did they miss any? No, I think Other, they haven't. Please specify. Do you want to include your VR stuff? <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, put in PSVR. Uh, uh, PSVR. 
VR. So we want them to go back to making VR games because they're actually really good at it. VR. Do you want me to put in your other VR headset? Uh, and Vive. V-I-V-E. Done. Yay! I really enjoyed that one of the answers was none of the above. It's not done! This survey isn't done! Just give me the thing. <laughs> Let's talk now about awesome, your Chris, relationship do that. with video games. <laughs> what is my relationship? This is be serious. It is. Of the following game categories, please su uh, select your top three. All right. Sports, shooter, action platformer, narrative uh, genre. Narrative genre? We gave examples for okay. each one. Life is Strange, Detroit. Ugh. Interactive Detroit, movies. Interactive movies okay. is what we're talking about. Um, they included themselves in there. Probably. I figured. MOBA? Uh, no, we don't play MOBAs. Okay. Action RPG? Okay. Massively multiplayer online? No. <laughs> That's what I was laughing. Yeah. Horror survival? Uh, okay, let's do top interactive oh, we're movie. Not done. Oh, goddamn! But I know horror survivals. Yeah, uh, I know, Marissa. Music, it's terrible. No role playing, party, <laughs> fighting, puzzle platformer, action adventure, strategy, real time oh strategy. God. All right, stop listing. Uh, number one is uh, interactive movie, horror survival, okay, action adventure. Think, okay, horror survival, action. It is your fault, Delbert. Action adventure. This is it. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, and then that was the uh, horror survival free. interactive movie horror yeah, survival action free. adventure. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's it. Damn, that is a lot let's of fighting. Let's talk to do. more specifically about the way you play video games. Please let's. Uh, Jesus Christ, do they think no one's <laughs> going to answer this survey? On average, how long do you spend in a single gaming session? Less than one hour, one to two hours, two to five hours. Two to five hours. hours. We're not going to tell them the truth on this one. It's two to five hours. Right? On average, how many games do you buy a year for your console? Xbox I mean, One the weird part is, or PS4 or PC. The weird part is essentially none because I get sent everything yeah, free. But, but we're going to say over 50 games. So 50? Yeah, just say 50. I have not played Welcome to the Game, Elliot. May I ask what it is? All right, next. There's more questions. Of course there are. Because below is a list of reasons to play video games. Tell us how important each reason is. <laughs> oh, this is getting creepy and personal. On a scale of one to six. <laughs> oh my god! One is, I don't play video games for this reason. And six is, I play video games for this okay. reason. To be emotionally stimulated, stressed, slash surprised. <laughs> To be stressed? Like you want to feel emotional oh, I while see. playing the game. I think they do. I understand. I'm really good at translating. No, um, yeah, say, uh, say four. Four? I think it would be three. Okay. To escape from the daily grind. Isn't this your daily grind? This is my daily grind. So, one. One. <laughs> that keeps me wanting to progress. That keeps me wanting to progress? What? Okay, hold on. I work for a French company that poorly wow. translates things to English all the time. I can figure this out. Oh, you're you want to continue making progress in the game, like that. Oh, sense of desire to finish the game. Yeah. To, I I don't finish most games. The vast majority of games I start, I never finish. Huh? See? Yeah, Talent. it's true. You you got it. <laughs> to be intellectually stimulated, solve problems to solve riddles. Yeah, sure. Four out of ten. Four, sorry, four out of six. To be in competition with others. One. one. <laughs> to personalize my experience, character, story. One. Really? When have I ever cared about how a character looks in a video game? Oh, okay. Ever. Personalize my experience. I'm giving it Tell me two. a... Okay, give it a two. But tell me because a story. There have been times when you've been super excited to pick characters and stuff. Once in a blue moon. Yeah. Uh, to talk... Share and play with others. One. Uh, Two. yeah, I would say one. Two. Well, you do share with others. Oh, right. I'm a streamer now, so four. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh wait. As Marissa like... says, let's delve deeper into your love of video games by talking about your childhood in depth. <laughs> so true. To explore a fictional world. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, let's say four. I do enjoy open world games. I was gonna say five. Yeah, you know what? Give it a five. Yeah. To be challenged by the game. Oh, uh, I don't care about that at all. Three? Uh, three, yeah. To immerse myself in another world. Uh, no. Uh, two. I mean, that's where I play VR, but that's not what I play the majority of games. I feel like I've accomplished something. <laughs> One. I don't feel like I've accomplished something. Stimulate my okay. creativity and imagination. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's give that a four. I don't think there are any enemies nearby. Oh, there they are. Oh my god, how is this still going? In general, what are your main criteria when you buy a video game? Oh, this is about to be horrible. Okay. Oh no. Don't cringe at this sentence. I won't, I won't, I won't. The fact of having played and enjoyed a previous episode of the franchise. Oh. That is the, one of the worst translated things I've seen. That is important, game. though, but that is. is not a good okay. senten let, sentence. Let me read you the rest of this stuff. And there's, Please. like, a ton of them. All right. Uh, in general, what are your main criteria? Okay. I want you to buy a video game. So, um, previous episodes of yeah. the franchise. Jesus Christ. Advertising I saw in uh, magazines and online. Oh, God. I tried the game myself, rented, borrowed. Videos posted by YouTubers, streamers. No, that's me. By the way, they actually list PewDiePie, which I'm offended Ew. by. Yeah. Like, come on, guys. The best streamer is right here. There we go. I played the demo beta early access version of the game. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's actually an important one. A price discount. Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. an important one. How much did they say? I went, okay. Uh, can we have three? Uh, it didn't say how many you can have, but it's okay. allowed me to select two so far. Right. Official videos and trailers I saw online or in stories. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Ratings given by video game reviews. Well, no, you write no, them. No, I write them. The I don't read them. pre-order offer? No. no. Because my friends talked about it? Yeah, that happens. Articles? Why do you think I friggin' bought Left Alive and I'm playing this? Articles and well, no, you were always excited to play this. Well, yeah, but uh, I I don't know that I would have bought it until it was cheaper, unless uh, what do you call it? Gene had told me over and over Articles again and previews how and perfect it was and for websites, me. Websites, so no. No. Uh, advertising I saw on TV, none of the above. So you've got right now. What is a TV? Advertising I saw on TV. Yes, I was joking. Oh, I get it. Because we live in the present yeah. and no one watches TV. Well, I took that to mean web advertising, but then I realized... No, there I was web it. advertising as a separate thing. that's what comes up when I watch TV, because yeah, I, I watch TV online. The fact of having played an enjoyable oh, cool, episode of a franchise, you also... Obviously, yeah. So that's it? We're good? Yeah, that's it. We're good. Is that it? No! <laughs> How is that not it? Where do you usually buy your games? I rent it slash borrow it in supermarkets from <laughs> an e-tailer. <laughs> sorry, e-tailer? E-retailer, so oh. Amazon... Uh, no, I get it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, one second. Unabridged! Um, yeah, I've reinstalled Rambo, so whenever you want to do our playthrough, get started on our playthrough of Rambo, I figure we'll do it after Clone Wars, but just get ready to play Rambo is what I'm saying. Co-op. From another retailer, Target, Best Buy, etc., in a video game store, game, etc. That's literally what it says in brackets. Online. I, think they meant I buy, to buy things online mostly. I, mean, I think they meant to write GameStop, but forgot the stop. Oh. Or it got auto-corrected and no one is. So online. Yeah, <laughs> online. I don't go to stores. In your opinion, what are the five most important features of a game? <laughs> All right, there's a shit ton of games. Of course there are. <laughs> I did not expect us to be doing a 90-minute <laughs> survey today, everyone. This has been a very bizarre stream, even for me. I apologize in advance. <laughs> I say in advance, but obviously like this we're is... we're in it, we have to finish No, no, we have to finish it. We can't quit now. Like, we must be almost done. They said we were almost done ten questions ago. Sorry, Unabridged. Again, we're actually going to be starting Left Alive tomorrow, it looks like, because of a GD survey. <laughs> <sighs> okay, in your opinion, one of the five most important features of a game... Oh, we should, Unabridged. Thank you for saying that. The graphics. Yeah. The difficulty level. Right. The universe and the atmosphere. The storytelling. Storytelling, obviously. I already have. Okay, good. The character design. Could not care less about graphics. The ability of playing several characters. No. The gameplay. The pace of the action. The competitive multiplayer options. No. The main character. The storyline interactive, interactivity. Yeah, put that one. Choices, yeah. yeah, yeah. Paths and consequences. The explore, exploration gameplay, open world free movement. 
Uh, mm. I actually selected that because you'd already said Open world? Yeah. I do like open world games, but I mean, not from them, but I do like open world games. You're right. Uh, the customization skill trees possible possibilities, the variety of gameplay, the cooperative multiplayer options, other please specify. So the, the question is, and to re refresh everybody, because I've already forgotten the question, in your opinion, what are the five most important features of the game? So right now we have storytelling, storyline, interactive, interactivity, interactivity, and the exploration gameplay. So we have three chosen. Yes. So um, we need others. Okay. Um, uh, so let's do... Universe and atmosphere? Yeah. No, I think that is important. I think that's part of storytelling myself. But if you but want to call it a separate thing, that's fair. Uh, the possibility of, of playing several characters, the pace of action, maybe? Gameplay. What does gameplay say? It just says gameplay. The gameplay. That's so vague, but it is important. Yeah. It's too vague, Although, but let's say yes. that being said, I don't know that that's one of the most important things to you because of your love of de deadly premonition. Very yeah. funny, but put down the gameplay. All right. No, a story can override gameplay, but gameplay is important. 